Hello, everyone. Really happy to be here on stage today. It's a great honor and a great pleasure. So uh, I'm not going to be just flexing the numbers. Uh, I will be talking about the challenges and how we did overcome them. And uh, today we can call ourselves the biggest Telegram mini app in terms of the monthly active users. So it's all about the expectations, right? It's the user's expectations. Some of the users want to have the life change after tapping some games and using some projects. But it's also a matter of expectations from the developers. Because our expectations in January 2024, that we would be very happy if we would have 100,000 users in Bloom. But the reality became different, and uh, the reality is that currently we have more than 85 million users. And why I'm talking about this, because we're partnering with a lot of applications within the Telegram ecosystem, and eight out of 10 projects actually are not ready for the high load. Because Telegram is the only place where you can achieve those kind of numbers quite fast, but you should be ready for the high loads, for the high inflow of users, right? Because the infrastructure is way much different than having 100,000 users, 1 million and 10. So you, you should be ready for this. And when we're talking about users, who are those users? We should compare it it with the whole world's population. Because I'm, I'm looking at the stats and uh, what I'm seeing at, is that we have people all across the globe. It is Southeast Asia, it can be Europe, it can be different countries. And uh, I'm really happy that people are so diversified. So there are rich people, there are poor people, there are very well educated people, there are DGENs, but they are very diversified. And I think the problem with most of the apps is the positioning, right? So the dream of every developer today, of most of the developers today, is to create the mini app, attract dozens of millions of users, then have the listing, and then go away. That should not be like this. And I think the question from 2017 for the games, for example, do, does the game really need the token? Does this or that app really need to use the blockchain? And the question is still there. So you should be answering those questions to yourself and to your users to become successful. But the most valuable, if we're talking because we're at the Tone Conference, on Gateway, the very cool conference, I hope you enjoy it, the real value is the on-chain users. How do you get them? How do you keep them? Because when it comes to the listings, for example, on exchanges, most exchanges asking, is there real users? Who are those numbers and where those numbers are coming from? We managed to get out of 85 million users, 35 million wallet holders, and out of the 80, 35 million wallet holders, more than 10 million users have, we call it, very active wallets. It means that they have transactions, they have balances, they do something with on-chain. On and that's very important. I'm really proud that Ton Open League, and actually the reason why I'm on stage, because we won the Ton Open League, and we're leading the Ton Open League today, more than 2.5 million transactions users made to support Bloom. And of course, to participate in the $1 million giveaway. But I think what most of the developers need to know today is how to use the native integration with Telegram. Whether do you need to create the messenger inside the messenger, the video platform inside the video platform, I don't think so. So Telegram has a very cool, very native, design system and we are proud to use it. And if we're talking about the referrals, for example, how it's been done in, in the past, very complicated. In the past, you had to copy the link and then send it via Viber to your friend. Your friend should be clicking on this, going to the App Store or Google Play, download the app and register, and then he becomes your referral. 
Now, it's just two tabs. You send the link, user clicks the link, and he becomes the user of the, of the, of the app. So the on-chain mechanics and the on-chain transactions for the trading app, which we are building, is the essential part of our strategy. And apps should be very transparent with the users, and that's what we're trying to do. And because most of the users, most of the Telegram mini apps users are new to the space, it's the first time they own the NFT, the first time after the big airdrops which were there, they were opening accounts with the centralized exchanges, proceeded with KYC for the first time in their lives, did the transaction, did the trade, and used the fiat gateways, it's very important to educate people because most of the users are new to crypto. That's what we're doing with the Bloom Academy, incentivizing users to watch the very short videos, answering how mining works, how staking works, what is the stable coin, et cetera, et cetera. So in order to have the better conversions, you should understand that most of your users in the Telegram mini apps space are new to crypto. And of course, I really do not understand why some of the projects, maybe it's their strategy, maybe I don't understand something, but why some of the projects hide their faces or not having the communities within Telegram, with the open chat, people asking questions. I know that I've, I've been receiving personally and we are seeing millions of messages, good and bad of course, from the community, but I think it's the matter of trust which you build with the community, right? So you should be transparent and open with them. And I'm happy that we have more than 60 million of social followers on different networks on Discord, on Telegram, on YouTube, Instagram, and et cetera, et cetera. And I'm really happy that we actually adopted the volunteer program from Binance, and we've been through Binance acceleration program, and more than 70 volunteers across the globe just for helping the project because they believe in the project and they like the project, helping us to manage the chats, talk to the audience, etc., etc. So I think it was a really cool idea to, to do this. So what is the future of Bloom? I think some of you might have heard that we're building a couple of projects, a couple of products inside the Bloom, I don't like the loud words, but inside the Bloom ecosystem, right? So this November, the meme pad is coming to Bloom. It's the place where every user, every chat holder, every artist, every musician can create his own or their own tokens within 10 or 20 seconds. It can be traded inside Bloom, it can be exchanged, and then it could be on different DEXs. Also, really happy to announce for the first time that very soon there is a trading bot coming into Bloom for users to use within different chains. So it's going to be the cross-chain bot to exchange tokens very easy and transparent way. And of course, the perpetual futures trading. It's also coming. We're being testing it on the back end. And I think it's going to be very cool for millions of our users. A couple of months ago, we announced that we launched the initiative, which is called Bloom Labs. And today, more than 10 projects are our portfolio projects, including Docs, Skate, X Empire, MemeFi, and the newcomers such as Pause, which you might have tried. Is there anyone who tried Pause yet? Oh, very cool to see. And this initiative is to bring our users the real value. More than $5 million in real value have been brought to our users through Bloom Labs. And dozens of millions of users have been brought from Bloom 
to the projects we support. So we're really looking for the new awesome projects who launch within the mini apps to support them. And I have a small announcement. It's a really big pleasure for me today and a very important milestone for us that today we're happy to announce that the open platform invests in Bloom. The open platform is the leading venture builder investment fund within the Tone ecosystem. So we're really proud to be partnering and receive investments from top. Thank you so much. I hope you had something interesting today from myself and thank you for coming to listen to me and I wish you to have a very great day today. Thank you so much.